Marham Green's been open two years and it's a unique, very sheltered housing scheme in the sense that we provide lots of other different services here. And it also comes with a gym. The hub's been open since August. We had a fantastic open day. Um, lots of interest from the public, the general public, as well as our residents and their families and their friends. Um, and it's been a huge success, it really has, and we are actually seeing the benefits to those people that have had strokes, that have dementia, and any other complaints that they have had. Yeah, okay. if only I could go a bit quicker. I'm sure, I'm sure <laughs> you can get an engine on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We've basically came to this point where we realised that Kessingland was one of the uh, areas that had uh, high levels of deprivation and also um, high health issues which we needed to, to focus on. So putting the community hub in Marron Green seemed a logical solution. Um, working with Flagship and Jane, we've uh, managed to secure the room rent-free for five years. So we've just simply put in some equipment that was supplied to us by Technogym and we staff it with high-level instructors which work for us on a subcontracted basis. We're really looking to extend the gym into other activities as well um, and these activities will actually be decided by the community and also the residents here um, and we will just facilitate using the staff that we have around us to, to make this happen. I would never have gone to um, a gym. Um, I don't like the, um, the speed that everybody goes at and you're in a, um, in a room where it's all hot and sweaty, I should imagine. I've never fancied that at all. But here, you've got your own pace. It's not too strenuous. You don't feel you're going to hurt yourself. You can be as gentle or as strong as you like. We really want the centre over the five-year period to grow to be a, a community thing. Um, really run uh, for the community, run by the community. Um, we're just merely there to add our expertise and sort of uh, help that process. The overall aim is that we should be able to deliver up to 40 hours of exercise to Kessingland and the local area. I'm actually the administration assistant and I obviously do all the paperwork for the scheme and one of the main reasons why I'm using the gym, not only because I'm a member of staff, is because I've actually got health this year. I've got degenerative disc disease in my spine. I think it's marvellous, absolutely brilliant idea. We've waited a long time for this and it's really exciting. It's just a social occasion and we all have a laugh as well, that's the nice thing about it. <laughs> I've seen many times in many job roles I've had through um, exercise how physical activity can change someone's outlook to life. It helps to promote a you know, positive thought, uh, makes people realise that they can do things that they never thought possible. And this transfers not only to physical activity, but just also into their life and their, their own sort of goal setting and aspirations. I haven't lost any weight, at, weight yet, but I feel that um, it's toning me up a bit and I'm not hurt, aching so much. It just makes you feel more supple, a bit more agile, and it helps with walking. It makes it all much easier.